computer I didn't. Okay, um, let me go to my little notes. Um, so I first wanna see, let's see is, um, I don't think she's on yet. I was gonna give a shout out to someone, so maybe we'll do it at the end of it. Okay, let me go to speaker view again. Okay, so today we are gonna talk about um, sort of branding yourself, finding your niche, and then also like why would a customer want to buy from you, which I think is like a huge reason. Um, maybe that some of us are struggling because we do feel like we're in such a saturated market um, and we can use that excuse of like why, why isn't anybody buying from me? And, and those are some real questions that we want to answer of why isn't someone buying from me? What is it that I'm putting out that someone, you know, isn't wanting? Or maybe I'm not putting out anything. I'm just putting out basic doTERRAness, right? And what's going to separate you from, you know, all the other people maybe around you that sell the same product? Because no matter what business you go into, whether you're selling oils or with me, whether I own a bakery or you're a personal trainer, a lot of other people have your same thing, right? There's not normally many things in life where it's like, it's only one of you. Um, so how are you going to present and brand yourself differently of why the customer wants to have loyalty to you and why they want to come to you above everybody else? So that's what we're going to be talking about today. Before we get started, I am going to start out with some motivational quotes because like always, I think those are a great way to start, um, start the night off. So let me get, oh, here it is, chat tonight. Okay. Okay, I love this one. Discipline is choosing what you want most over what you want now. And I think a lot of us do get, I mean, I totally get distracted throughout the day, especially. I think a lot of us, especially since we're women, we're juggling so many different things. And so a lot of times maybe what we need to have have to happen now isn't what we want most in our life, right? So we really got to reprioritize and figure out how am I really going to make what I want the most a priority so I get that and not let all these things come into my day, my week, my month and self-sabotage something that I really truly want, um, but I'm not making space for it and I'm not prioritizing it. So disciplining yourself to choose what you want most over what you want now, um, I think is a really important thing. I love this. Never give up on a dream just because the time it will take you to accomplish it. The time passes anyway. And it's so true. I feel like a lot of times we think like, oh man, but like for this to happen, I really need to like, you know, um, hit this rank and it's going to take this amount of time and I put all this it's going to pass anyway. You'll still be stuck probably in the same spot that you're in and you're hating right now, whether you're at a job or maybe you're feeling like you don't have enough income. You'll probably be there in another year anyways, right? And if you just don't have the, um, you know, if you're just not ready to put in the time and the effort for your dream that you want, you're still going to be stuck in that spot. And I feel like that's probably one of the hardest things we have is those regrets, right? The regret of, man, I just didn't put any effort in last year. Or, oh man, I wasn't consistent and I wanted to. Or I didn't plan any classes this month. You know, whatever it may be, but the time's gonna pass no matter what, each month will go. Um, and you won't be any closer to your dream unless you start and you don't give up. Start where you are, use what you have, do what you can. You can rise up from anything. You can completely recreate yourself. Nothing is permanent. You're not stuck. You have choices. You can think new thoughts. You can learn new things. You can create new habits. All that matters is that you decide today and never look back. And I think sometimes we get bummed out on ourselves, maybe from the past, but to really think that you can literally change whatever you want um, is a really kind of crazy, cool, amazing thing is really you are in the driver's seat. You have the control. You can change. If you don't like certain things about yourself, your business, whatever your situation, you can absolutely change that. Success doesn't come from what you do occasionally. It comes from what you do consistently. So if you occasionally have an amazing class, but you don't consistently do classes, some of them might not be great, right? Maybe a one-on-one -on -one flops. But what's going to make your business is what you do consistently. It's the same thing when you hear with working out. I think this is actually from a lady that I follow who's a you know, personal trainer, right? Success doesn't come from that occasional amazing workout you had, right? That one day you conquered it all. 
And it comes from consistently showing up day after day after day and choosing those kind of habits. And the same thing is true with building your own business, right? Every single day I love, I don't know if Tina's on here or not, but I loved her um, example of, I'm going to butcher it, but she says like five things she does before she goes into her house. I'm going to totally butcher it. So I'll have, we'll have her go on here and say it, but you know, she contacts five people. She talks to four builders. She you know, connects with three new people that she doesn't know. She has a whole thing of five things that she does every single day, consistent actions, right? Um, to grow her business, help her leaders, get new contacts that she says every day before I walk into my door, I will do this. And I really love that. And I think like, man, how about on those bad days when you're just like, I'm over this, but you tell yourself, I am going to do these five things and it will get you out of your funk. Because what if on that day that you decided just to do your thing that you consistently did, you had a breakthrough and you're like, your builder, you know, was like, oh my gosh, thank you. I needed you. Or a customer said, oh my goodness, my kid, he's sick. And you brought a sample the next day and it helped the kid. And then that person ended up being a builder. I mean, you just really never know. But if you don't show up consistently, you take that opportunity away from yourself. This is going to be really important for today's talk, but it says you can't be an influencer if you're always being influenced. And I feel like we really need to hold on to what we believe in, what we're passionate about, and not let everybody else's ish and their things become ours, right? We're going to focus in on what really makes you guys excited. What are you really into? Why are you doing this? And don't let other things get in your way and really focus on that. And then you can become an influencer instead of always being influenced. And then yeah. snuggle hugs are the best. Yeah. Thank you. All right. I've got to finish my call. Can you bring me my water though? It's right there on the counter. He's the best snuggle hugger ever. So you always have to get a snuggle hug from Donovan if he offers you one. Yeah, that one's good. Okay. Some will, some won't. So what? Someone's waiting. So I don't know if that's a message that maybe some of you guys need to hear tonight, but some of us, we get down on some of our businesses, whether it be a customer, whether it be a class where people don't show up. And it's like, we can learn from those circumstances, but we also need to remember that if we consistently keep coming at our business, some will, some won't. So what? Someone's waiting, right? And that's totally true, especially when you get into the leadership roles. You will have people come in and out saying they want to do the business, and probably 75% of them won't really do anything. Um, some will, some won't. So what? Someone's waiting for me to help them, right? For me to give them the tools they need to have a successful business. And I think that's really important. I like this one. Did you know that 80% of women who make six figures do, through, do so through network marketing? That is a fact, and you need to hold on to that because whatever stage you're at in life, um, this is something that's for all of us. And a lot of times we have so many things on our plate as women and so many things that we're juggling um, that we have to be there for and that we want to be there for that not many jobs will give you the opportunity to rise up like network marketing does. 80% of women who make six figures a year do it through network marketing. Okay, don't train for a skill, train for mindset. We'll talk more about that as we go on. I think mindset's one of the number one things. Skills are great, but if you have crappy mindset, no skill is going to help you in this business, right? Most of it's all in the mind, so I love that, that quote as well. Okay, so those are my quotes. Um, I'm going to do a quick, quick, quick training on um, – using um, oils for babies and some of the resources and tools that we have that you guys can do to um, start educating people, um, helping them, and then eventually leading them into getting um, a kit with you. So let me share my um, screen one more time. Okay, so we have a lot of resources in the builder group. If you go into the builder, I mean, sorry, the user group, and you type in baby, there are full ebooks in there on the babies. I do want to update the ebook. That's um, one of my desires to do is do an updated baby and pregnancy um, mama uh, book a little bit more to get some more recipes and resources in there. But if you just type in baby, you are going to get so many testimonials, usages um, for all sorts of things where it's people telling their stories that you can screenshot and use. Like I said, a full ebook. Every kind of thing, milk supply, all of this is in here. So literally, there's another from Keely Martinez, one of the top people in doTERRA, a whole video on kids and babies. Go sit down, and when you want to sit down and educate people, just go into the group, 
type baby, type in pregnant mama, and read through some of these, you will come up with so much content on what you can share with your customers, whether it's a customer you currently have or customers that you want to get on this topic. But this is a great resource. I just want to show you guys that. There's nursery blends. There's really tons and tons of stuff in here just on babies. There's a whole Mothers and Babies Empowered Life series. So go through this when you want to share and teach someone about that. I also have roller bottle labels and blends. Um, let me look over here real quick. Um, so you guys saw maybe some of your people um, were into those um, uh, on this last um, freebie week that we had. We did a little baby set. Um, some ideas. These are just some from the ebook. I just want to show you that you can screenshot from the ebooks in this long format and then use these for your stories. That means you have great story content that you didn't have to do anything for. All you did was screenshot it in the correct format, right? Do it a long slice or edit it. And um, you have great recipes and everything that we've already done all the work for that you can share different ways to use it. Um, I have these labels. Jeff, the label guy, has them all. You guys can use them. These are great ones. I feel like when we talk about niches in a second or niches, whatever you want to niche, my niche market, and maybe not better niches. I don't know which one it is. Um, this is a great way. I think one of my favorite things is I like pretty stuff, and I feel like that has helped my business a lot because I find that a lot of people like pretty stuff. And if you can show a pretty item that they is already pre-made for them, they want it, and they're going to want to buy it from you, but you don't want to sell it to them. What you want to do is you want to give it to them as a freebie. That's the number one thing that has helped me sell a lot of my kits is, yes, I would love to make these custom roller bottles for you. I don't sell them. I get requests like that all the time, and I just don't have enough hours in the day to make enough roller bottles to sell. But I love showering my customers with, with freebies, like what's, what's their favorite blends are. I will make my customer anything they want into a blend and gift it to them. And that's how I get people on the LRP. That's how I get referrals, all with doing a lot of custom rollers. And this is a great set because any new mom wants to have something that's pre-made and all ready for her in a cute fashion, right? Um, you don't have to do the whole set if that overwhelms you, but in the baby oils, you're doing about three drops, maybe five drops total in a 10 ml. It's a very, very little cost in here, right? Um, so we have oils and I have, like I said, I'm going to put all of these in a baby ebook soon, but immune support, right? A lot of times you can use oils like, or, you know, on guard and things like that. Totally people use on guard on babies all the time, but there are some more gentle options. So educating customers on what those are, if they want to get them outside the kit, you want to educate on how you can use the kit, but use other oils as well, right? Arbor Vitae is a great oil besides On Guard that's a little bit more gentle, similar benefits, a little bit more gentle. Copaiba, frankincense, all great oils for a healthy immune system. Sleep and Calming, Roman Chamomile is gonna be a top baby oil. Vetiver, super gentle and calming, and Serenity, right? Of course, you could put in lavender and frankincense, but I'm trying to pull out some oils that are outside of the kit. Whenever I sign people up with a kit, I do not give them roller bottles with all the same oils that are in their kit. Why? Because I want them to experience other oils outside their kit that they're going to fall in love with and want to buy from me, right? So I don't want to put lavender in their baby blend. Why not? I want to put serenity. And they say like, oh my gosh, I love that. I'm like, yeah. Serenity, Roman chamomile, vetiver, my favorite, right? So make sure and sample outside the kit that you're getting them started with. But the nice thing with the starter kits is it has the membership, it has the diffuser, it has the oils. Let's customize it now, right? Now we can customize it with the rollers a lot, and then you can help them on their next month on the LRP get some of these other oils that you put in the blends. So for baby teeth, frankincense, lavender, Roman chamomile, copaiba, oils like Siberian fir, oils like clove, which you can add a little bit of a drop to an olive oil or coconut oil, dab and directly put on the gum. These are all things you can do for babies and support. Respiratory support. Breathe is absolutely an oil you can use, but eucalyptus and peppermint might be a little strong. So I'm going to go more towards oils like cardamom, lime, and frankincense for babies. So those are why I put there. Copaiba would be another great one too. For calming support, again, you'll see Roman chamomile pop up, balance, lavender, so many different calming oils that you could pick, peace, a bunch of different ones, but you could make up different blends. Tummy and colic, fennel, Roman chamomile, geranium, digest zen, and then we have great ideas for doing the tummy massage and things like that. Um, so a lot of different ways. If you're... Um, 
client is or customer is getting um, a baby that's colicky, they would also maybe want to try taking um, the digest um, digestive enzymes themselves, and that also can help with a lot of the tummy issues, eczema, colic, and things like that. Them going through the milk if they're breastfeeding. We also have, if you go over to my personal Instagram on my IGTV, I have an entire little video called Pregnancy, Labors, and Babies where I walk you through the entire of my favorites. This would be a great thing that you could go to on Instagram and tag a customer or send them the link if you're wanting to support them more in this because now you've just given them a resource of what now they want on their LRP. And then you could say, yeah, I'd love to send you two free custom roller bottles, right? You can take basic kits. Now, this was the Aroma Touch kit, but you can do the same thing with the family, with the Healthy Start kit or any other kit you want. And you just want to photograph it and stylize it a little bit different so everybody thinks you have a different kit every single month, right? You can have your staple kits, but you can change them up by changing them up with the roller bottles that you're doing and by talking about the oils in a slightly different manner. Now, you can do add-ons. For example, you can do a baby kit basic kit, and then you could add in maybe four more oils that are your absolute favorites and call it the ultimate baby kit. That's what I did personally on my... Um, on my teacher kit this month, I have a basic teacher kit that has them getting the on guard touch roller that's over 100 PV. And then I just added on to that kit four more oils that are 100 PV together to get them to the 200 PV mark so they would get all the freebies from doTERRA. So when I'm trying to sell them, I say, awesome, I have two great teacher kits. I first go over in detail everything that you get with the first kit to make it sound amazing because I never want to downplay my cheaper option. But then I'm going to upsell them and say, but I absolutely, if it fits in your budget, the ultimate one, you're getting so many more freebies and you're getting four of my most used oils outside the kit. Um, and then I showed them all the freebies and why I love these extra oils. And I had a lot of people upgrade to the ultimate, right? Now I could have said, oh, it's probably out of their budget. I should just stick with that. Give them an option, right? You never know. Maybe they want to customize it and go up there, but you need to customize it for them. A lot of times when I'm talking with customers, they might say, oh, maybe they already have some of the basics or they want to customize it, no worries, let me put together a custom bundle for you, and then we'll do a custom bundle of freebies just for you. I do that, I go into the link generator on doTERRA, if you haven't used that before, go into our builder group, type in link generator, you can watch a little video on how to use it, and I literally send them a link and I say, here's the top oils that I absolutely love, I send them the descriptions from the Oil Magic online book, right? A little screenshot so they, so they get some knowledge and education. And then I tell them with this order qualifies you for these freebies. Does this look good to you or do you want to change it around? And sometimes when you're going back and forth with a customer, it might take a couple times. I literally was DMing with this one lady um, back and forth and she changed the order three times. I just was perky as ever, even though I was like, how many times are we changing this? And we eventually ended up on, you know, lifelong vitality pack, right? Which is something I wouldn't have said at first, but when she was talking about some of your issues, I was like, this is truly what you need, right? For menopause and hormone issues, if you already have clary calm in your home or something like that. So, you know, really work with the customer and figure out what are their top needs and, and meet those needs for them. But does anyone have any questions about the baby oils, baby resources, baby kits, or anything like that before we move on? Okay, so this is a great one. If you want to sell a product like this, if you do use DM or Instagram, I mean Instagram, photographing a set of the cute roller bottles gets a lot of engagement, I feel like. Those are great ways. And then when people are like, oh, I love those, those, can you sell them? You say, oh no, but I'm gonna be releasing my baby kit in two days, I will tag you in the post, right? Or tomorrow, my baby kit's releasing and you get all of these for free, right? That's a great way to entice people to get engaged in them and thinking about it, excited and wanting to learn more, is to post the cute item that you're giving for free first, rather than just a basic looking kit. I found that works really well because it gets people excited about it and they're really wanting to hear from you once you're ready to do this limited kit that you came up with or whatever you're doing. 
Okay, so that's a little bit on the babies. This Now, this next thing that we're going to go into is um, talking about your niche market, branding, and things like that. And I have a lot of resources that I think if you're, if you're really wanting to work on this, I'm going to post some things to the builder group. And I would say, listen to these, dive into them. They could really help your business a lot because I think this is really going to give you to the next level. But I'm going to share some of my insights from what I learned what I've used, and then um, what I even learned more of this week. So let me click this over. Okay. Okay. So one thing that um, when we're talking about, um, before we go straight into the niche market, one thing that I wanted to teach you guys about that I think is a really uh, helps to set yourself apart and to really brand yourself and show who you are um, and also why the products are amazing is testimonials. How do you get testimonials? Now, testimonials sell. For me, testimonials was something that always I wanted in, in my business. People ask me with my cake business all the time, oh, would you advertise? Did you advertise? No, I just want to get people talking about me, right? I want them to talk about my business in that authentic kind of way. I think person-to-person -person testimonials and a referral is the best business ever rather than seeing an ad of some kind of sort. So with testimonials, maybe you could write down a couple basic questions that when you meet up for your one-on-one -on -one or you DM them or you text them would um, elicit or give you some testimonials that you could then use. So talking about what has been your favorite oil? and then let them answer. Listen to why they love that oil so much. That could be a testimonial for you. When you go to sell these kits in the future, you need to have testimonials for every oil, whether it's your own, a customer, or someone in our builder group. You need to share that because testimonials speak. If you're trying to sell on Instagram, testimonials sell way more than you saying, I love this oil. Instead of you saying you love it, post why somebody else said they love it, and people will listen a lot more, I found. Um, have you found our oil um, community helpful, right? What's your favorite thing and the resource in there? You wanna have people talking about why our oil community is so great and they tell their friends about it because their friends need to be in our oil community. That's one thing that's really gonna help set you apart because you know, getting an oil off of Amazon does seem pretty easy, but it doesn't seem worth it at all when they get no community and when that's what they desperately want. So you really need to get people talking about our oil community and then have testimonials about why this uh, community is so great. And now that we're doing weekly classes, um, continuing education, intro to oils and online ones, this will really even engage our community more and give all of those things that are resources for your customers. Um, Follow up if they talk to you. I have a lot of people ask me questions like, okay, my kid's sick. Well, how about this? Or I'm getting a sore throat. What do I do? You know? And then I give them my answer. I send them a new ebook. And then what do I do? I follow up. I always ask the next day, oh, how are you feeling? I just want to check in with you. That gives me a testimonial because 99% of the time they're like, oh my gosh, you told me to do that on guard tea and it worked great. I have a testimonial, right? I screenshot it. I add it to my Instagram. Love that thing. And a lot of these testimonials are things that most people that are following you deal with all the time. And so if you're talking about a fever or if you're talking about gout or whatever it may be or thyroid issues or hormones or hot flashes and someone just said a testimonial on how something worked for their hot flash, people will be like, oh my gosh, tell me what your hot flash blend was. Then now you have a conversation, right? Now you have that person's attention because they want to know how you helped this person, how you help that person get results. So showing that people are getting results with your stuff is one of the number one things to wake people up and have them pay attention to what you're talking about. Um, let's see. Um, I love doing this. Do a small giveaway and ask a question that you can turn into a testimonial. So I did this one right here and I said giveaway. Now this was a bigger giveaway. I mean, I'm not saying giving away this much, but I had a second set that I got on my trip with doTERRA. So I'm like, you know what? I'm going to do a giveaway. So what did I say they had to do? They had to like my photo. They had to follow me. And then I said, tell me what your favorite oil is and why. Or if you haven't used oils, tell me what you'd love to use them for. Okay. Two important questions. Cause now anytime that someone wants to enter, 
they have to tell me what their favorite oil was. So if you have a new person that hasn't gotten to oils and they're reading this post, they're probably going to read a ton of people's comments and see all of these oil experiences that will build belief in them, right? So when they're ready to purchase, um, they can. This is also a great thing to do in classes too. Okay, I have this free wild orange. You know, whoever tells me what their favorite oil is and why, I'm going to pick a random number. And, you know, after about, you know, five or six of you, we can't go all night long, then we'll stop it. And one of you is going to win this free wild orange. Then do that if you know you have people in there that have actually used oils. That is going to create such a great environment in your class of sharing, of excitement, of, oh my gosh, I didn't know you used oils for that, when other people are talking about just besides you. And then the other thing I did is tell me what you'd love to use them for. When someone writes what they'd love to use them for, I answer them back every single time in a comment and say, oh my gosh, oils are so awesome for that. I'll totally DM you and send you my favorite ebook that goes over this topic. Oh my gosh, yes, let me tag you in a post that I did on postpartum hair loss. You would really love this post. Now I just got a new customer engagement. And so if someone says that in the room too, and maybe you're at a class or something, and instead of them telling you um, what their favorite oil was, maybe if you have some people that have never used it, what you'd want to use it for, then you'd be like, oh my gosh, yeah, lice, you know, or, or earaches, totally you can use that. And then you give an authentic testimonial about that. I love doing this. You can do it with two roller bottles and literally how much, in, how much is that? You know, $5, $8. And you're going to get a great post with lots of action on your Instagram and you're going to get amazing testimonials. So I love, love, love doing things like testimonials. Does anybody have any questions about testimonials, how to get them and how to use them? So I challenge you guys this week to go and get testimonials. If you had recent customers that you just signed up last month, or um, if you do a post on your Instagram, however you want to do it, or in a class, go out and get at least 10 testimonials and start building on your phone a testimonial album. So anytime you need testimonials, you have them on there and it'll keep growing and growing. And then you have this whole category that when you want to do testimonials for skincare, you have them all. If you need to find some, go on to our oil group and type in you know, anxiety and all in the comment section, you're going to have a million testimonials right there for you. I do that anytime I'm trying to educate on something. I educate and then I do three pages of testimonials because I know education sometimes pass through, but before and after photos and testimonials, people read and look at. So those are very, very important. If you're doing classes, having a laminated printout of testimonials on why someone loves adaptive will sell adaptive for you and you won't have to say anything. All you'll do is say, oh yeah, if you're really, you know, anxiety and stress and depression is top of yours, here's this product. I have some lamb, you know, I have this sheet over here that goes over some testimonials. Let them read that. They will want to buy that. If you're trying to do skincare, put before and after photos. You don't even have to say anything. They'll say, how do I buy that oil? I want that, right? A lot of our eBooks all have testimonials in them because testimonials matter. And this is a really big thing when you're trying to build loyalty, build a brand and show results and why someone wants to go with you is sharing these kind of things that you're actually getting, which is our results um, with that. So those are some things I really would recommend doing. Okay, let me pull up one thing real quick and then we'll keep going. Oh, look, someone just emailed, how do I get a teacher set of oils? I'm telling you, people want the free teacher oils, right? You have to figure out what audience you want to get to, and people literally are going to want these cute roller bottles because they're a teacher, right? Same thing with new mamas. They want those rollers. Now, the, the frankincense oil, are they really wanting to pin $64 on it or whatever? No, right? But they'll buy it in that kit if they get those rollers for free. You know, as long as you tell them that you're going to help teach them how to use them. So you really have to figure out how to get what you want and how, what excites people and how are you meeting their needs. I think that's a really, really important, especially if you're trying to do any kind of online sales and get out of your market where it's just friends and family and you want to get to real people that are um, outside of that. So let me get to my notes real quick. Okay. Here we go. So I did testimonial. Okay. myself situated right here. Okay. Yes, 
saying. Okay, I love this um, this quote. Oh, someone has a comment real quick. Let's see. This is awesome. This seems a lot different from Elise Sedevi style that we've been watching in the videos. How do we connect it to what we've been watching? You know, Patty, I think there are two different styles and it is within anything that you're learning from different doTERRA leaders, we've all found our own niche, right? Um, so within Elise's, you have to take what works for you. Now, I don't want everyone to go in and not do Elise's exactly how she says, because I do feel like she has, like she said, spent tons of marketing research on that. Um, but I also feel like she hasn't built online at all. I have built a lot online. So a lot of the stuff I'm going to be teaching you guys is maybe um, from a different perspective. I totally value and love a lot of Elise's things. And I found a lot of success in doing other things as well, right? I do find one of her main things of um, sampling people and getting a response is absolutely key if you're not going to try to get them to get a quick sale on a cute roller bottle set. I do think the roller bottle sets work, right? Um, I don't think she's ever done that, so I don't think she has any experience with doing that, but you're selling to a different um, to a different market and generation of a quick buy. Um, I've gotten, now, do I think maybe a lot of Elise's customers might um, be better LRP customers that are easier to get because she's done a longer relationship with her and maybe it would be easier to get into um, a share or a builder role? I do think so. You've done a longer process with the customer. You built more of a relationship. Most of the time it's in person, right? Um, and it's gonna be easier to grow on that. I do have to put in a lot more effort, um, which is why I've created communities, eBooks, DM a lot of people. I have a different kind of relationship online with people. Um, and I think both are great. I think there's, there's ways to connect with people in person, which I think is getting them the samples, following up with them, making sure they come to a class, all of those kind of things. I've done that as well. And then another way to do that is through social media, which is uh, testimonials a lot, and people doing a quick buy. People do quick buys all the time. I buy quick buys. If I see something and it's easy to buy, I buy it, right, if I want it. If it takes me a while to buy it, if someone doesn't answer my question right away, um, if something doesn't look that exciting to me, I don't buy it. Um, now, when I get a quick buy, then I need to put into the work to connecting with that person and giving them the best customer service possible through online, which is what I really do well at. Um, and what anyone can learn to do, but a lot of people don't do it well. I do love that. So I think, I think within all, I've done a lot of different trainings through doTERRA. Um, so I can see value in all sorts of them. Um, I think Elisa's training is awesome. And I think doing it that way will give you great results. And I think taking some of these aspects and doing them as well online and trying different methods and see what works for you is another great avenue for your business, right? Um, I think a lot of times people do social media and they do it horrible. And I'm not trying to say it mean, but it's just a waste of time for their business. And I think they would much rather have way more success doing Elisa's strategy than trying to do social media at all right? Now you can use a lot of these tactics that I'm talking about in person as well. I think having testimonials, when you go to send someone a sample, will get them to use the sample more. So if you send them a testimonial about how this sample worked on this person, this person, and this person, when they get the sample, they're going to be more excited to use that sample because they just wrote a bunch of testimonials that's not you talking about it that worked for this person rather than, okay, here, I'm going to send you an oil for sleep. And you don't go over the oil. You don't tell me why the oil works. You didn't give me any testimonials. You didn't give me any background or education. Giving testimonials is going to be really helpful in getting someone to actually use the, use the sample and actually want to come to a class, right? And then while you're educating them, if you are on social media and you're educating on social media, giving actual uh, education pieces and not just through through photos or copying and pasting like, you know, doTERRA content that maybe isn't from you, it also brands you and which we'll talk about more in a second. But I think that's a great question. I don't know if I fully answered your question, Patty. Um, so if you want me to delve into it more, let me know or if anybody else has more questions. But there are a lot of trainings out there um, and I think they're great. And I, I love Elise's and I think it gives really good uh, structure, um, action steps and things like that um, with it. Okay, um, here, here, I love this quote. Um, people aren't just buying oils. They are looking for the person behind the oils. 
That is going to make the difference in who they decide to buy from. And if they continue to buy, you need people to talk about you, show up and tell your story. So you need people to talk about you as this person who is so dedicated to helping, who really just, you know, made it so easy for you that, you know, yeah, you started with oils a couple years ago. They sat in your cupboard. But when Sally came in, Sally made sure I knew. She made me the cutest roller bottles. I love the roller bottles. Do you want to see them? you want to try them? Do you want one? I had someone giving out the roller bottles. I made them to people. And then those people turned into signups for me, right? I had a lady want to buy the oils and labels for me so she could fill them up and give them as Christmas presents. I was like, Heck yeah, let me send them all to you, right? Um, I had someone just last night, a customer just signed up two weeks ago, and she told someone, oh yeah, she was really helpful. That person DM'd me last night, asked me a random question, and I was like, oh sure, let me help you with that. And then it was question after question after question. And then I found out she had oils. She didn't have a membership. She was getting oils off her mom's account. So what did I do? I came in and even though she has a stash of 15 oils from doTERRA, I put together a custom kit and answered all of her questions about hormones and menopause. And we put together a custom kit for her. I educated her because she was really like, I need education. I need support. I don't know how to use the oils I even have, right? What do you want people to talk to you, talk about you when they're talking about you? What are the words that you want people to describe you for? These are the things you need to think about. And then when people start describing you as that, you'll know you did your job correctly, right? I like when people describe me as like, oh my gosh, she made it so easy. I actually use my oils. Oh my gosh, when I have a question, she answers me right away. I can get a hold of her all the time on social media. She has so many great posts. And the, the Facebook group is a game changer. I go in there all the time. Every week I can go on there and I can look up whatever I want and figure it out. And the eBooks she has, oh my goodness, they are so informative. I love it. Those are the kind of things that I want people to say about me and what I think makes the difference in why these people want to come to use oils through me, right? Otherwise, there's a lot of other people that they could be getting oils from probably, right? But they're going to come to me because I have great customer service. I have really cute roller bottles. I have a great oil community and I show up every day and I answer their questions and support them. That is what I'm known for, right? Um, you need to figure out what do you want to be known for and how are you going to achieve that? You have to get people to trust you. This sometimes takes time. You have to get them to trust you if you want them to buy from you. What are you doing to help build trust? Are you willing to wait it out as you build trust or are you going to give up on them before you even gave them a chance to build that trust with you? Building trust takes time. Sometimes people follow me on social media or I had one lady come to three classes of mine before she was ready to buy. Now, maybe I could be a little insulted, like literally, like you came and you just took your one roller and you came the next time you took one more roller, like, come on, buy already. Once she bought, I answered every question for her. She knew I supported her and I was there for her and not myself, right, for the quick buy because I kept showing up when she needed stuff. And then she got on the LRP and brought a friend to the next class. That's the kind of customer I want to go after. And if it takes me giving the extra mile to get them, I'm absolutely fine doing that, right? Building the trust, giving the sample, then maybe not using the sample, you know, whatever it may be, showing up on social media, answering a question for them. A lot of times my best customers are some of the ones that it took a little bit longer for me to get. And sometimes the ones that buy, bought really quick, and I was like, oh my gosh, I didn't even know who you were, you bought and whatever, really never ordered again. So building the trust with someone and having it take time isn't a negative when you do that, just think I am building into this person, just the friendship, right? So that's what I try to do with people. And those are my best, most loyal customers because now they're not just into doTERRA oils because they work great. They are into me and my business and support me as a person. And they want to talk about me and they want to share their friends. I had a customer that literally wrote to me and said, you know that oil magic book you got? I want to buy that for my friend that signed up under you. I just love it so much. So she literally bought the book for her friend to give it to her friend and helped her friend get on the LRP. I was like, you know, I mean, these are the kind of customers we want and we dream of. So write down who your dream customer is and let's figure out how you're going to get there. Okay. Your business will grow when you stop caring about the sale, the rank, 
the likes, and instead start caring about the person in front of you and their needs. That's all people want is for you to connect with what are their needs. When you show up and see how you can serve, teach, inspire, and help them um, see how the oils can change their lives, they really are desperate for that change. So many people are, are desperate for health, um, for mental health, wellness, all of that, that if you can just connect with them, they trust you and you educate them, they will literally be customers for life, right? That is what we truly want. It's better for everybody. Um, okay, let's see. And this sometimes I see in some of the younger groups, um, like in, not younger, but in the, uh, the lower rank groups, people complain like, oh, doTERRA's on Amazon. First off, doTERRA doesn't want to be on Amazon. Amazon, you know, won't ever take them off. That's a whole other story. But what I say is Amazon is never, ever a threat to me. Why? Why is Amazon and Young Living or any other business not a threat to me? A, I think doTERRA's oils are amazing. But if you're saying I'm competing with Amazon and doTERRA has Amazon on there, right? That could be a competition, right? For me, my customer service is so amazing. There's no competition. There just isn't. I give such great service, so many great resources, and amazing free roller bottles that are super cute. Amazon does not compare to me, right? That's where you need to feel in your business and what you need to offer someone because there's not even a discussion happening. That person will want to order with you. You have the best community. You have the cutest roller bottles. You give the best support. Done, right? They want to get their oils through you. Okay, the next thing we're going to talk about is finding your niche market um, or where you're at in the industry. So here are three questions. I'm going to post them to the builder group that you need to answer to figure out what your niche market is. So who do you serve? You're going to have to think about this and you need to be specific. She was giving an example. I'm going to show you this lady that I love her podcast. She actually grew up with her in the wedding industry. She was a photographer. She changed her whole business into um, helping people grow their business and is killing it. Jasmine Starr is her name. Um, but be specific. She said, if you're in the wellness industry, you don't just say I'm a health coach. What kind of health coach are you? Weight loss, hormones, what? If you really want to sell to someone, you need to specify who do you serve? What problem are you solving for them? You want to offer the easiest and most effective solution. And then what makes you different and why should they buy from you? You have to figure out the answer to these three questions to figure out where you are. I'm going to give you an example of a couple people that did that. So let me see if I want to. Um, oh, one thing before we go um, <coughs> to the next slide. <coughs> Maybe what are some things to think about? What are you most complimented about in your business? Do they say <clears throat> you're the most helpful? You are give the best recipes. You um, are so great with my kiddos. I love your detoxing. You're so green and clean. You know, oh my gosh, like fitness and, and pain management. What are they saying? Or things like this. Do you give a great quick response time? Do you give awesome welcome gifts, great classes? Um, you know, chances are you're doing something that somebody else isn't doing, and we need to focus on that. Um, what do I see, think, or do that is different? Um, not diffuser. <laughs> I totally did a typo on that. What is diffuser different? What is different than everyone else? What makes me the most excited about what I do? So think about what do you like about this business the most? For me, I actually really like taking cute photos and I like coming up and buying roller bottles and trying labels and coming up with new blends and things like that. I like that. So that, that's how I think I fell into that. Some people will hate that and they will never ever sell on Instagram. They love doing one-on-ones. They love coming belly to belly with someone and doing it hands-on. That's awesome. Do that. Some people aren't even on social media. You would never find those people. Do what you love and what makes you most excited about this business. So let's see a couple people and how they um, did their um, niche markets. Okay, let me find. <clears throat> okay, so for example, this is um, Season Johnson. She is a presidential diamond doTERRA. How did she get into oils? Her son got cancer. Why is she passionate about oils? Because oils helped her uh, son get in remission and cured of cancer. 
she has a passion for helping people. So her Instagram and her classes and her events are talking about detoxing, food, self-care, thriving through cancer, what she exactly uses within some other supplements, some healthy recipes they do, all of these kind of do. This is what she does and how she shows up to connect with people in this kind of market, right? Now I'm showing you online stuff because online is an easy visual. I can't show you someone's class. If you're in a class and you want to do something like this, you can absolutely do class, classes outside of say basic intro to oil classes. If you're say in the fitness industry or if you're in pregnancy or if you're in you know detoxing and hormones, you can do specific classes too. Um, and people can start to know that you are the person in this market. And sometimes mastering that need that that segment of the market of essential oils will give you confidence to grow your business in other ones when I first got started I literally was just so passionate about feeling more confident as a mom and having other resources that I didn't have to go to modern medicine at the drop of the hat that was my spiel I didn't even think about using them for hormones I didn't even know you could use them for anti-aging skincare none of that right what I knew is I could use them for earaches I had a natural antibiotic, fevers, yes, I've got this covered. That was mine when I first started. Now I've evolved it too, right? Now I'm selling these teacher kits, right? Why? Because I found there was a great market for it, right? And I tweaked it to be mad because I've mastered other markets. So it doesn't mean you only are gonna stick in one market. It just means why not become a master in this market so when someone is teaching on this or has a conference or has a class or a need, they they think of you when they need this. Maybe you're going to do it on emotions. Maybe you're the anxiety master of helping someone deal with anxiety, stress, and sleep. Whatever it is, figure out what that is and have that be one part of who you are when you're sharing and showing up. Okay, another one. Oh, it's going all over the place. Um, okay, the next person we're going to do um, is this lady is, um, let's see. I'm not going to go through all of them because it's going to take too long. The essential detox. So this person um, loves green clean, detox, all this kind of stuff, right? Um, so coffee enemas, right? Parasites, um, stomach, health, um, you know, your body, food, all of this kind of stuff. And she talks about oregano essential oil and bad bacteria. This is her wheelhouse, right? She can speak into this with conviction and passion because this is her. Not to say that she can't help someone with stress and anxiety, but this is what she's really passionate about and it's authentic to her, right? And people are going to come to her because this is what she's really into. And she's titled it The Essential Detox, right? This is a great way to brand yourself in a way that really gives you a part of the market. Okay, another one we would say is, maybe you're just into hardcore oil education. I love this, the oil, the oil Ohana. She gives more, um, oh no, that was somebody else's. See, that's similar name, okay, let me see. Let's, we'll go, oh, I think it's just oil Ohana, okay. Oil Ohana. Okay, here it is. So she gives just great information with super amazing recipes all the time, right? Maybe that's what your passion is, is educating people, coming up with recipes. That's literally her. That's her jam. You go to her for that. So she's going to really connect with someone who wants a lot of detail. Somebody else might be like, oh my gosh, that is way too much detail. Give me a cute roller bottle and tell me how to use this sleep blend. I do not want to learn about the, you know, nitty gritty of essential oils. So we all have different ones. Another one we could do is um, Jenna Kitchen. I, this is a great one. So I was just talking about with someone who is an esthetician and, um, she was saying how, you know, she might want to do essential oils within her business. And I said, awesome. Let's talk about Jenna Kitchen, presidential diamond in doTERRA. She totally talks about oils and family, but what did she figure out years into doTERRA? So she's totally changed it around too. What is she super passionate about? Skincare. Why? She had a skin issue on her face. She came up with a skin serum that she just got loved. So she started making a skin bay serum. You can go on there. It's basically yarrow palm, frankincense, and copaiba with rosehip. But she has so many testimonials on 
whoops, oh wow. On Skin Bay, oh, I'm gonna, sorry, this is really, all right, whoops, okay, sorry. Um, but you can see she goes on and on and on and on about this skin bay. And now it's literally, she shows how she uses before and after photos, testimonials is what sold it. She actually started selling her skin bay, okay? Now she's smart and knows that selling an, an oil on a website is one thing, but getting a customer that buys from you every single month of residual income is a different thing. And so what she do, did is she tells you how to buy these oils through Doterra at a discounted cost, gives you the recipe, and then puts you into this educational funnel. And now you want to be a customer for life of hers because you just saw how oils work for skincare. Now, how many of us know that some people that are into skincare could care less about a natural lifestyle? But if the skincare helps with their wrinkles, are they going to think, oh, maybe this frankincense oil will help with my kid's fever? And then they'll want to get into that too, right? So she took something that she was so passionate about and she even branded this specific thing, got tons of testimonials, tons of, you know, uh, before and afters, all that, sold it, made an income off of it, or added it onto a kit for free. So at first she didn't sell it and she said, oh, if you get started with a kit, I'll add it on Skin Bay for free, right? So maybe you have an anxiety blend that everyone loves of yours. Why not get a million testimonials and say, this month only, I'm adding on my top three most um, testimonial and loved oil blends for anxiety, right? Someone with anxiety is going to want that kit, right? That's how we get to a niche market and really connect with people rather than giving a broadband essential oil kit for everyone all the time. That's just not going to sell very well to some people. Now, in other times, if you have time to educate it into a class and you can actually educate on how awesome these oils are, yes, you can. But a lot of times people might want to try something different like skincare oils, and then you need to figure out how you can. These are just ideas. If this overwhelms you, you know, don't do it. I know this, this kind of stuff excites some people and overwhelms others. Um, lastly, another person, um, Carrie Vitt. Um, she did a great one um, on, and if anyone has any questions, I know I'm talking a lot, join in. She had thyroid issues. So what did she do? Her, her Instagram is all about talking about thyroid, Hashimoto's, IBS, right? She even came up with a cookbook, right? She's been in business for a while. But then she also talks about and does webinars on essential oils for hormones and whole body health, right? And if you get started with this healthy habits kit, I'm going to send you my top hormone essential oils. So you can really see how you can brand yourself, how you can create you being, um, you know, someone who's really big in the market. Um, and if this like, um, overwhelms you and you're like, oh my gosh, well, I'm not like a hormone doctor or something. Here's another person, Dr. Marisa. She talks all about women's health and hormones. That's her thing. Now, does she know how to use oils when you're sick too? Yeah, she does. But what she talks about is gut restore, stress help, love your liver, different topics that she's into, emotional release. This is what she's passionate about on and people lead that. So what are you passionate on? And like I said, it doesn't have to be, you know, this grand thing that's like super specific. Like I said, I got started and was just super passionate about motherhood, oils, or, you know, I've seen other people who are like, you know, have a gorgeous house and they show how they swapped out candles and how they make their cute DIY cleaner and, you know, did this poopery mix. So you can do it whatever you want, but you really do need to shine above other people, make yourself look different and, and brand yourself in a way that you stand out amongst everyone else. It's, it's really important, especially well, I wouldn't even say just on social media, I think in person too. Um, but for sure, if you're doing anything on social media, that is really what's going to draw people. I know that was a lot of info. Does anybody have any questions? I have a couple more slides, but I just want to take a pause real quick while I take a drink of water. Give me some feedback. Is this connecting with anybody? Does this overwhelm? Does this is excite people? You feel like you haven't been doing this and you might want to change some stuff up. Let's hear from a couple people before we move on. You can unmute yourself. Anybody? You guys are all smiling at me. 
I don't have specific thoughts, but it's really helpful. And I wrote all the questions down and I feel like it's really thought provoking and um, really helpful to think about. So definitely something to hone in on. Awesome. Thanks, Amy. I, uh, I don't know if you can hear me, but I think it's super helpful. I, I do feel like a little bit overwhelmed, like, oh my gosh, where do I even begin? And I think that's like, if, if do you have like a checklist or something you would say, okay, you know, identify your, like, I don't even know where, what my niche is, but um, I mean, I know what I'm good at, but I don't know how that fits in with doTERRA, but, and I've been doing this a long time. So it's not like I don't have some things figured out, but I think just with the social media piece of it, um, like where to begin. Yeah. Well, I mean, I feel like when I look at you, Kim, and I'm just on your Facebook, you're doing this in other areas of your life without even knowing it. And maybe you haven't felt like you pulled it into, but if anyone goes and sees and follows Kim on Facebook, her photos and what she does in her life for like literally her homeschool classes or her meals. I mean, that shows someone her passion and what she's so freaking excited about. And the photos are stunning and it draws you in. Right. And you want to be a part of it, you know? So you need to figure out what lights you up about oils and what do you get so excited about in helping people and, and think about that and dream about that. And what kind of person do you want to help? Right. And, and for me, I literally, when I thought about it, I literally, you know, back in the day when I wasn't even really educating on social media at all, I wasn't, um, I was like, Oh my gosh, I hated that panicky feeling as a mom when like my kid has a fever and oils made me feel so much better. I hated feeling so overwhelmed. This chart and recipe that I made that goes over just how to use it, how many drops to it, made me feel so much better about oils. I'm, it, it just like took all the worry away, right? Like I love this community because anytime I have a question, I can go in and type in it and I get all the responses, right? So it doesn't have to be a huge thing like hormones or whatever. It could be, right? Like, you know, Joan's really into fitness. She could really go that route and hone in on, if she wanted to, really how to do this whole healthy lifestyle, right? And how oils can go in there. Inflammation, pain, detoxing, right? Can all go around that core of health, body, wellness, right? That would be like an easy one to jump on. Or I know like Danielle is really into home birth and, and pregnancy and babies. So you could, in a sense, have a theme around that. Not that you couldn't say I'm not into helping people, you know, that are elderly or something, but your main driving thing that excites you and lights you up is really hitting this target market, right? So, you know, and, and other people like Shannon loves pets, right? That is a market. I have no market on pets. I'm the worst person to help anybody use essential oils on pets, right? Um, she kills it in that market, right? They want to listen to that. So those are all ways. I do have this though that I um, was going to share still. So let me pull this up. This might answer a couple things and I'll post a little bit more. And sometimes this is just like the tip of the iceberg. I know it can be overwhelming. These are just some things that are definitely um, thought provoking. Let me see if I did all of these real quick. Because I have a couple more at the bottom. And this is something you want to think of, journal about. You know, it's not something you have to decide right away, but you do think about when you go to buy something from somebody, don't you want to buy it from somebody that knows their ish, right? When you go to buy someone from something, you want to know that like um, they're really into this and they want to help you with this. And so it could be general essential oils, but if you generally are wanting to be like a general person in essential oils, then this is where your niche should be. I have the best, most easiest resources ever. I have the cutest roller bottles that I pre-make for you with the best blends. I have the best eBooks I'll send to you right away. And I'm always here to answer any question you have. I promise you will not get your, your kit and it stay in the cupboard. That is a general thing, but it's also very specific because a lot of people suck at that. They literally get a person started with the kit. They do no follow-up, no education. The person doesn't even use anything. So just right there by talking about how you make oils easy, how you have great recipes, showing cute roller bottle labels, that right there will set you apart in the market, right? I don't have a particular exact niche. Uh, you could say I, I did branch out in the teachers, right? And so I branched out into that and I sort of said, how can I do this? 
it's not like, I mean, I'm a homeschool teacher, but it's not like I know everything about a teacher. What did I do? I literally went and looked at teachers' Instagrams and websites and said, oh, let me see what teachers like, right? Oh, teachers like these colors. Teachers like these kind of graphics. Teachers have these kind of issues. I'm going to make a kit around this. Now it's the same exact kit that I sell when I'm helping a new mom make over her medicine cabinet. I just branded it in a different way. Does that make sense? So you can take your basic oil knowledge and brand it in different ways, but by trying to sort of figure out what are your core beliefs, what are your core things that light you up, what do you love about this business, and what do you want your customers to say about you can help you hone in on the kind of business that you want to have that will help separate you from everybody else in the market. And, you know, it's, it's not um, – Everyone's different. So some people might be like, oh my gosh, I could care less about cute roller bottles. Like, you know, I just want someone to come to my house for three hours and sit with me. Well, maybe I'm not that person, right? I don't know. Like everybody has a different skill set. And so you have to figure out what you enjoy. Um, but she did have um, this, and I'm going to post some more things. If you're interested in this, there are tons of resources out there um, for you on it. But this is um, from Mel Abrams, the value articulation statement. So you fill in the blanks. I help who? Do what? So that, what do they get? Unlike this because of a distinction. So I'm going to show you how this lady wrote it out for her business. I help business owners, what? Build a brand and market it so they can create the life they love um, without being lost and overwhelmed. My purpose is to empower people to believe that impossibilities are possible, um, are possibilities in disguise. So you could say, I help moms learn how to use oils on their family every, in everyday life so that they feel confident and empowered instead of overwhelmed in lo and lost when it comes to natural solutions because I love that it gave me, I mean, I'm making it up as I go, but you can sort of see how you can take that and whatever it is that you want, right? You can tweak it, but I help who do what so that what's going to happen. Unlike what's the, the thing that normally happens because what are you doing? This is something that you need to work on. My purpose is to empower people. Is, this is what this ladies is. So you need to sit down and what is your statement for your business and what are you helping customers get, right? What is your value articulation statement? Because if you don't know, probably your customers don't know either. And they think you're just trying to sling them an oil kit to make $20, right? Like you really have to have a purpose behind this. That's where you're going to get... Um, uh, branding yourself. That's when you're going to get loyalty. And that's when people are going to feel confident that to recommend friends and family to you. People recommend friends and family to me all the time because they know when they recommend a friend or family to me that I'm going to help them as well as I help that person, that they're going to get really cute roller bottles and freebies and that I'm going to give them a referral gift too right? So like I have like a full circle of things. They know they want to keep sending me people because I helped them get plugged into my group. I gave them easy resources. I gave them those cute roller bottles that they used right away, which they loved and couldn't stop talking about. And now I'm giving them a gift for help sharing my business, right? Those, that, that's something that you need to get in the rhythm of figuring out how can you help a customer sell what you're doing to someone else. They're going to talk about you well, they probably aren't talking about you, but you want them to talk about you, right? And what do you want them to say about you? You need to make sure that's how you show up for them and that it's very clear and you're doing that so that they can easily share. Like, oh my gosh, Kim, she is the most knowledgeable person when it comes to, you know, cooking and using essential oils. I use this all the time or, or detoxing. Do you have hormonal issues? You know, do you have period cramps? Oh my gosh. Like I had such bad hormonal issues, no energy, was losing my hair, whatever it may be. And Kim walked me through the steps and put me on a whole little regimen. And oh my gosh, I feel so much better. Right? Like, you know, figure out what are customers saying about you? 
What have you helped them do? And think about that. And, and you do have to spend time on this. But I truly believe that this is something that really could change your business and take it to the next level. Because there's a lot of little sellers of doTERRA. A lot of little sellers of doTERRA. You don't want to be one of those that are lost in the sea of doTERRA, putting up another photo of a doTERRA kit that they photograph and say, buy the, the healthy start kit, right? It's probably not going to sell that well. Now, if you can get them to a class and you do the Elise set of e-training and you sample them, you build trust and you give them an oil experience, now that we have trust, now you had an experience, now you're ready to listen to me. And yes, I can sell you the healthy start kit and call it the healthy start kit, right? But if you don't have that with someone and you're trying to, um, you know, send it to someone who couldn't come to a class, right? That doesn't have time to it, but you need to connect to health issues. I've sold a ton of kits via DM, via text messages. Why? Because I get right to the point. I meet their issues. I create trust. I give them information. And then I give them a pretty package of something that they're going to get right? And I show them that I will be there for them. So we all have to figure out what kind of customer are we going after. And there's class customers that you've sampled. And there is another market for people that are online that are in another state that you will never meet that you can sell to, right? So we, we do want to grow in both ways. Um, and just because one works this way and one works this way doesn't mean one's wrong, right? They're both different skill sets. Um, and so, yeah, so that's sort of what my talk was on tonight. Um, let me see if there was anything else that I missed. I don't think. Well, I will do a shout out next time because I don't see the person on here. Um, or maybe I'll do an Instagram or a, a Facebook one. But that was my talk for tonight. I know it was a big thing. Um, Jasmine Starr is the lady I'm going to show you guys who... She is really in, um, you know, her whole thing a lot is social media, but I think social media um, goes over into your business a ton, it, no matter if it's social media or not. Um, but if you want to find her, this is where you can find her. If you just type in Jasmine Starr, she's a little over the top, that's her personality. Um, but if you go to IGTV, she has a lot of short minute videos, which are great content. Here's her at the LuLaRoe conference. We both do direct sales, right? Lula Rose in that too. This is hers on brand, um, branding one-on-one, which is sort of what I gave a little bit of talk on your niche market. But she gives a lot of different things on how to show up authentically. And you can translate them into social media or into regular everyday life. Um, a lot of free content. She also has a podcast too, the Jasmine Star podcast, I think it is. So there's lots of people that educate on this. She has a lot of great, easy content though, um, that you can learn more about it. Um, and how to get people to engage, how to get people to trust you, how to brand yourself, right? And how to separate yourself in a market um, where there's lots of people. Because maybe you're not even on social media, but maybe you're like, oh my gosh, the mom in my classroom sells doTERRA too. Well, that's just how it is. Who are you gonna show up as? You don't need to go over there and try to steal everybody, but what if you show up as the person who gives free roller bottles that are cute and connects with people? That, you know what I mean? Like gifts the teacher a diffuser that has like oil classes for kids that I don't know what it may be, but who are you gonna show up as, right? There's lots of people that do similar jobs, but you need to figure out who you are in the marketplace and then show up that way. So I'll post some of this more info. We can totally talk about it more as we go. If you guys think about it and have any questions, feel free to write it on Facebook or DM me. Um, and I'd love to help you work through this. If you're wanting to tackle this, um, the person who you're doing mentorship calls with this week, I would definitely recommend going through this with them and helping them work through this with you. Maybe they're going to have some insights, but this is your business and you have to decide how you're going to want to show up for it. Um, just a reminder, um, I'm still trying to facilitate um, the online classes. I'm going to try to work on that sign-up sheet, but um, all of the continuing education classes for our Costa Mesa location are here. They're really easy to sign up. If you're looking for the links ever, if you go to our builder group, um, Obsessed with Essentials Business Builders, they're always in the pinned post at the top. So um, it's called announcements. So if you see announcements, there's seven things that are saved on there. If you click on that, all of them will pop up. Here's the one for the continuing education classes where people can sign up. And then here's the one for the intro to essential oil classes. If you want to teach classes outside of this, 
or be an assistant or something, you can reach out to me. We will have a signups for that. Um, if you're going to want to be like a main leader teacher, you're going to want to reach out to me. Um, and we will have classes outside of the eight topics for the continuing education. So if you find like, oh, there isn't one on pets or anti-aging skincare or things like that, we're not just having to stick to that. We can do some classes outside of that schedule as well. The Long Beach ones, we're still working on facilitating as well, as, as well as the uh, online ones. But, you know, get your customers sampled, get them to the intro classes, get them to the continuing education class. We're really excited about this. I think it's gonna be a game changer for the business. Um, so yeah, does anybody else have any questions before we jump off tonight? Sorry, we went a little bit long. I'm definitely a talker. No, okay, well I will can't, uh, post the recording to the group. I'll post some more of the um, links if you wanna learn more about finding your niche, figuring out some branding for yourself and things like that. Don't overcomplicate it. I know it can be overwhelming, but simplify it and you can always grow from there, right? My niche, I didn't have like figured out. I just went with what my passions are and that typically is what your niche market is. Um, what do you love doing? And think about those kind of things. What sets you apart? What do people say about you? Um, that typically will help frame what you're good at, what you love doing and how you can show up and differentiate yourself from other people in the market. All right, you guys, have a great rest of your night and I will see you next week. Bye.